Hey there, Tamers! Temtem is launching next month, and we can't wait to welcome you to the Airborne Archipelago. The world of Temtem is huge, and whether you're a new tamer or an experienced adventurer, there's lots to learn and master. Here are some tips and tricks to use as you battle to become the ultimate Temtem Tamer. Combat in the archipelago is challenging, so studying and training a variety of Thames is important. Temtem requires stamina in order to perform their attacks and abilities in battle. So managing their stamina levels carefully is super important. You'll want to keep an eye on what status conditions are in effect, what gear the other Thames carry, and what items you have in your backpack that might be able to give you a competitive edge. Don't be afraid to switch your Thames in combat, and be sure to study your battle log to learn from any mistakes you make. Playing Temtem solo is great, but did you know the entire Temtem campaign can be played in co-op mode? Communicate with other players using chat and emotes, or use the friends list to trade, inspect, spectate, and join battles with tamers around you. Grab a group of like-minded tamers and band together to form your own club where you can have your own club name, logo, and private chat. And if you and your club are up to the task, you might get to control a dojo through the lucrative Dojo Wars. The campaign will guide you through the Airborne Archipelago, but it pays to explore on your own. Many quests with valuable rewards and exciting lore lie outside the main storyline, so don't be afraid to stray from the path to experience the full adventure Temtem has to offer. There are lots of secrets and hidden Easter eggs scattered all over the world, so hop on your favorite mount and keep your eyes peeled as you explore. The ultimate find for most tamers are the elusive Lumas, sparkly rare versions of Thames, complete with powerful stats. If it's Lumas you're looking for, you'll want to employ a couple different strategies to help increase your odds at finding one. To begin with, visit the Sci Park on Denise Island, which features two different Thames each week, alternating between the opportunity for increased stats and Luma chances. Once you make it to the end game, winning your battles in the Digilaire on Tamer's Island will let you obtain eggs for the Temtem of your choice, with significantly increased Luma odds. You'll find a few other ways throughout the archipelago to snag a Luma. But remember, if at first you don't succeed, just keep hunting. The main currencies in the archipelago are pansuns and feathers, and you'll find there are tons of ways for you to earn them. The simplest ways to boost your income are by catching and releasing Thames through free Tem, winning against the dojo leaders in weekly rematches, and selling items you might not need to NPCs or other players. Trading with other tamers will open many doors as you venture along, but be careful to monitor your pansun balance. Spend wisely during the first few hours of your adventure, and don't be afraid to walk back to a temporium to heal instead of relying on healing items. Being pansun savvy goes a long way in the world of Temtem. Sometimes finding the perfect addition to your squad isn't a matter of luck. It's a matter of science. The science of Temtem breeding. Through breeding, newborn Temtem can inherit different aspects from their parents, such as techniques, traits, and single values. Some Temtem and attack techniques can only be acquired through the breeding center, so it can really pay off to spend some time learning the nuances of breeding. And we mean that literally since selling off new and improved Temtem you may not need can really help rake in the pansuns. Combat is one of the most exciting activities in the Airborne Archipelago. 
duel your besties in a friendly battle anytime. Or test your mettle against other players on the ranked ladder. Join tournaments to prove your mastery. And if you're in a club, the weekly Dojo Wars are where the best clubs clash and prove their team's superiority in battle. Temtem offers endless possibilities for personalization so you can show your true self. Choose your body type, walking animation, pronouns, and customize your clothing options as many times as you want. Express yourself through a wide range of emotes that convey what you're feeling. And if you can't say it, spray it to show off your favorite Temtem or vibe. And don't forget to update your Tem card seals and your battle outro animations to make victory even sweeter. Looking for a place to rest after a long day of adventuring? Then complete the housing quest to obtain your very own home in a toll row, the engineering marvel where all tamers reside. Once you own a home, you can teleport there anytime. Decorate the interior by changing up the furniture, floor, and walls. Or customize the exterior and be the envy of your neighbors. Have friends over for a party or hang out inside. It's your not-so-secret base and it should represent you. The end of the main story is just the beginning of the fun. Loads of doors will open once you finish the campaign. From repeatable, challenging activities like Dojo and Arch Tamers rematches, to co-op friendly endeavors like the mythical and digital layers. Tamers Paradise, the last island on the archipelago, is chock full of new modes that will put your skills and brains to the test. Temtem is leaving early access and officially launching September 6th, and we can't wait to see all of you on the Airborne Archipelago. For our longtime supporters and to our new players who are just joining, it's time to celebrate. It's time to Temtem up. PlayStation.